Thousands of Egyptians fill the streets of the Egyptian city, Beni Suef. There have been protests like these in various locations across the country. A show of opposition in anticipation of Egypt's military chief saying he will run for president. There's wide-held belief that Abdel Fattah Sisi, the man who led the military coup and overthrew the previous government, now wants to be Egypt's leader. Seen here on a visit to the United Arab Emirates this week, Sisi recently said he couldn't ignore demands that he run for president. Nobody has any doubt that uh, Sisi will be the president. Uh, it is not because the, necessarily the election will, uh, will be fraudulent, but uh, uh, I think uh, most of the Egyptians think that Egypt needs a, a strong man and uh, uh, they will vote uh, for Sisi. But what uh, Sisi will be able to do, we don't know yet. And Sisi has no uh, any political uh, party, so we don't know exactly with whom uh, General Sisi will be working. In January, the army gave the green light to Sisi to resign from his military post. Earlier this week, comments by the former Prime Minister under the Mubarak government were leaked by a pro-Brotherhood group. Ahmed Shafiq is heard criticising Sisi's expected presidential bid. In an audio message, he said the way the army backed Sisi's candidacy showed a strange lack of experience. He goes on to say the presidential vote would be farcical and rigged in Sisi's favour. Shafiq now says his comments were taken out of context. Sisi's crackdown on the Muslim Brotherhood has widespread support in Egypt. Numerous members of the Brotherhood, including the former president, Mohamed Morsi, have been arrested and put on trial. No date has been set for the presidential elections, but the interim prime minister says Egypt can expect a new president by June. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.